Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on how to customize the toolbar in a Sync Fusion Blazor Rich Text Editor. In this video, I will show you how to add new built-in toolbar items, toolbar types, enable and disable toolbar floating. I will also explain how to customize the quick toolbar for links and images. I am using an existing Blazor WebAssembly app. In this project, I have already configured a rich text editor component with HTML data. To know how to configure the Sync Fusion Blazor rich text editor component, please watch the video which I have shared in the YouTube card. Now, I run the project. You can see the rich text editor component with data. Also, you can see the toolbar with default items. Now, let me show you how to customize the toolbar by adding a few new items to it. To achieve it, add the rich text editor toolbar settings tag, add the items property and assign a field. In the code section, define the tools field as list of toolbar item model. Add a new toolbar item model and set the command as italic. This will add the italic toolbar item to the toolbar. Also, you can add custom tools, I will explain that in a separate video. I do add a few more items to the collection. Run the application. You can see the customized toolbar in the RTE. Clicking on this expander you can view all the items. Also, you can show all the items in the toolbar using the type property. The expander is the default toolbar type. So, to do that, in the rich text editor toolbar settings tag, add the type property and set the value to multi-row. This will show all the toolbar items in multiple rows. Let's see how this works. You can see all the toolbar items in the RTE. If you want to show all the items in a single line, you can use the scrollable option in the type. To achieve it, in the type property set the value to scrollable. Now, run the application. You can see the right arrow button, while clicking on it, it scrolls to view the invisible toolbar items. Let me scroll down the page, you can notice that the toolbar gets hidden in the page. To float the toolbar, in the page always even after you scroll down, in the SF Rich Text Editor, you need to set the floating toolbar offset with the desired value. Let me set it to 50. Run the application. Now scroll down the page, you can see the toolbar is floating in the RTE. To avoid floating, you can use the property, enable floating, and set it to false. Run the application, scroll the page, you can notice the floating is disabled in the toolbar. Let me click on the link. You can see a quick toolbar with options, open link, edit, and remove link. You can also customize this link toolbar. Let me show only the open link option in the quick toolbar. To achieve it, in the SF Rich Text Editor, add the Rich Text Editor Quick Toolbar Settings tag and add the link property and set a field. In the code part, define the field link of type list of link toolbar item model and add a new link toolbar item model and set the command as open. This will show the open tool item alone in the quick toolbar for any links. Run the application. Click on the link, you can see only the open link item is available in the quick link toolbar. Here in the image, you can customize the quick toolbar too. To do so, in the rich text editor quick toolbar settings tag, and add the image property and set a field. In the code part, define the field image of the type list of image toolbar item model, and add a new image toolbar item model, and set the command as a line. I do the same for caption and open image link. Run the application. Click on the image, you can see the items, align, caption, and open image link in the RTE. In the same way, you can customize the table toolbar items using the table property and table toolbar item model. That's it. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the video description below. You can also check if you're eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Blazor products. If you found this video useful, Click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.